Please note this video was filmed during the COVID-19 pandemic. For the latest maternity service advice and information about COVID-19, please visit our dedicated site at www.mtw.nhs.uk forward slash COVID-19 maternity information. I'd like to talk to you about assisted vaginal birth and emergency cesarean section. It's quite common to need a helping hand to deliver baby if you're a first time parent. In terms of the numbers, we're looking at around 14% of parents will need assisted vaginal birth and 25% of parents will need an emergency caesarean section. If you've had a baby vaginally before, then your chance is even lower. So roughly around 4% of second or subsequent time parents will have an assisted vaginal birth and around 2% will have an emergency caesarean section. Throughout your antenatal care here at Mason and Tombridge Wells Hospital, we encourage you to talk to your team about your birth preferences. We aim to support your decisions and preferences throughout your journey here at MTW. Please remember that you are at the centre of every decision that is made about you and your care. In this next section, we're going to specifically talk about assisted vaginal birth. Assisted vaginal birth is undertaken during the second stage of labour when you'll be offered a vaginal examination and if you're fully dilated and if it's appropriate we will aim to deliver your baby vaginally. The main reasons for undertaking this is if there's concerns of baby's well-being needing a speedier birth or if you're feeling too tired to push after a long labour. A Vontu's Kiwi Cup is a suction cup placed on baby's head. It is a team effort to deliver baby and we gently guide baby around the pelvic outlet. It might be necessary to do a small cut in the perineum to help deliver baby and baby may have a small swelling on top of their head but this usually settles in a couple of days. The alternative is a forceps delivery. Forceps look like salad spoons that gently hug the baby's head and help guide out of the pelvic outlet. If between you and the team looking after you, you've decided that an assisted vaginal birth, so either a Vontus or forceps birth, is the safest option for you, then this can take place in one of two places. Your baby's birth will either happen in the delivery suite room that you are already in, or it may happen in our specialist theatre. It's really important to note that both Avontus and Forceps are both very safe. It's also not uncommon for the doctor to have to change from one instrument to the other during the course of your birth. If this does happen, please don't be alarmed. The team around you will be discussing with you every step of the way what's happening and keeping you informed and doing everything with your consent. Depending on what is happening during the course of your labour, it may become the safest option to birth your baby via caesarean section. And we'll talk about this in a little more detail now. A caesarean section is an operation which allows your baby to be born via your abdomen. The main reasons why we would offer a caesarean section during labour is if there are any concerns about your well-being or your baby's well-being. If the team looking after you recommend that a caesarean section is a good option, they will discuss the pros and cons and any potential alternatives with you and your birth partner. During this conversation, the senior obstetrician involved in your case will fill out a consent form with you and document all of the pros and cons you've discussed together. Once you've agreed on a plan, they will ask you to sign this consent form. Please only sign if and when you are completely happy with and understand everything that has been discussed. We appreciate that this is likely to be a very emotional moment for you and your birth partner, so please do ask us for some time to think about and discuss your options if you think that will be helpful, and please ask us as many questions as possible. Once you've signed your consent form with our obstetric doctors, one of our anaesthetic doctors will come and have a chat to you about your pain relief options for the caesarean to make sure that you are as comfortable as possible. If you already have a really good working epidural, then this is often sufficient for a caesarean section. 
but you may also be offered a spinal anaesthetic which is very similar to an epidural or a general anaesthetic in very rare circumstances. When you arrive in theatre, you'll be greeted by our theatre team. Now please don't be alarmed, it will seem like there are a lot of people there, but everybody has their own specialist job to ensure that you and baby are well cared for. Most people having a caesarean birth are generally in theatre for approximately an hour, and your birth partner will be able to be with you that whole time. Please be rest assured that a lot of the aspects of your birthing plan can still be respected during a caesarean birth, such as immediate skin to skin, delayed cord clamping or anything else that you would like. The caesarean section scar is generally quite small and quite low down on the abdomen. The stitches used to repair the scar are dissolvable and when you go home from hospital you'll have a dressing over the scar which will be removed normally by your community midwife on day five. Your midwife will talk to you about how best to look after your stitches to prevent any infections. If you are pregnant and you are planning on having your baby by a planned or an elective caesarean section, then we have a video on our MTW maternity website which details the entire journey start to finish of an elective caesarean birth, so please check it out for more information. If you have a caesarean section with this baby and you are planning on expanding your family, this may have potential implications for your future pregnancies. However, when the time comes, your obstetric and midwifery teams will discuss all of your options with you so you can make the right choice for you. We appreciate that talking about and thinking about an assisted vaginal birth or a caesarean section birth conjures up a lot of differing feelings and emotions in all of us. However you do feel about them, we really hope that this video has helped to debunk some myths and help to reassure you that however your baby decides to enter the world, their birth will be special and it will be safe. We are more than happy to talk to you after your birth about everything that happened if you feel that would be helpful. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen in this video, then please speak to your midwife or your obstetrician.